jumping. So we need to make our character jump, that way we can jump over the balls. So first let's create a variable called jump height, which will be used to see how high our player can jump. So let's click on make a variable button and let's title it jump height. So if you ever want your player to jump higher or lower, you can change the value of this variable. So let's go ahead and name our new variable, make a new variable called jump height. And let's do this for all sprites. Again, our players don't need to see how high we jump in our game. So let's uncheck it from the variable section. And let's go ahead and see what we need for jumping. So now that we actually add the code for our jumping player, let's see how we can do this. So when we press the space key, we can set our jump height to 11 and then add a repeat until loop and check until the jump height is equal to zero. So if we jump up 11 pixels, we should be able to decrease it back to zero. That way we're back on the ground. And inside this loop, change Y by jump height and change jump by jump height by negative one. Then wait 0.2 seconds outside the loop. So let's add this code into our player sprite and test it out. So we have a new trigger when space key pressed and we set how high we jump to. So let's make some room. That way our new trigger instead is when space key pressed. So to jump, we will use the space key and let's set how high we are going to jump with our new variable jump height. So feel free to play around with this number and if you need to jump higher, you can make the number higher or make it lower if you don't need to jump that high. And then we're gonna repeat until the jump height is back at zero and equal to zero. So we are repeating until an action happens and we are saying that the jump height must equal so jump height equals zero again. So we jumped up 11 pixels and we want to come down back to zero. But how are we going to come back to zero? That's inside our repeat until loop. Let's change Y since Y is up and down. Let's change, whoops, let's change Y by the jump height. Since that determines the actual number of how high we're jumping. Let's change jump, let's change Y by jump height. And also we want to change our Y by, and also change our jump height by one. That way our motion does the adjustment and our variable. So we can change jump height by negative one to decrease down to zero. And outside our loop, let's add in a wait block of 0 0.2 seconds. And let's test it out. Now, if we were to walk, we can jump. Now that might be too little of a jump to make it over incoming balls coming down. So we can edit our jump height, maybe to 15. And that'll give us some more jumping leverage. Make sure you can jump on the second floor. Just make sure your head never touches the ceiling. Mine's almost there, but it's almost just perfect. And make sure you can bounce your way up to the ending. That way, if our jumping works, then we can add in the dodging balls next. 